Mark Cuban fired up here at the Barclays Center. They've done a much better job in this second half defending James Hahn. Brunson to Carly Stein, back out Finney Smith, drives across the lane, flips it up and in. Everything going Dallas's way, timeout Brooklyn. So I have one question. What do you say when someone says James Harden is the front runner for the NBA MVP right now in 2021? Who the fuck is this asshole? No, that's not a joke. There are now people in the major sports media, in the corporate sports and big corporate sports media saying that James Harden is the front runner for the MVP. And I'm asking why? Putting up good numbers for sure. But I mean, where was he in the beginning of the season? Like I said in the previous video, availability matters. Now his contractual problems or his trade requests that were going on down there in Houston. But not to mention he's on a team where he has a lot of help. But what happened without that help? Now that was a loss to Dallas. The MVP race. Who is number one? I mean, you should put Embiid before James Harden. In my opinion, LeBron James is in pole position. Quiet as kept, LeBron has played every single game. Hasn't missed one. And is playing well. Now that destruction of the Golden State Warriors. Getting back on track with Dennis Schroeder back in the lineup. So those losses, that losing streak that the Lakers went on was kind of bogus because no AD and no Schroeder. That's kind of like, well, Harden losing Durant and Kyrie Irving. Well, he did and they lost. But the question is, is Harden, even if they were winning, should he be the MVP? No. Brooklyn sits in second position. Behind Philadelphia, you can't really say that without James Harden, they wouldn't be winning. Now, the other people in the race, they, they, <laughs> whew, boy, they won't stop with the Clippers, man. I even heard someone mention Paul George should be MVP this year, or maybe Kawhi Leonard. Nah, nah. But again, I believe that the race still remains between LeBron James and Joel Embiid. I'd even put Damian Lillard in front of Embiid despite their losing streak that they've been on. But James Harden, no. I don't see that. But it's uh, the media seems to like James Harden as well as the referees. But this guy has not done enough. Every year they choose James Harden. The Rockets are going to win it. James Harden, no. And that's why I'm going to repeat that I believe that the Brooklyn Nets are not as top heavy, as not as talented as you may think, because James Harden will be James Harden. He'll be playoff James until we see otherwise. He's a great player in the regular season. But when the playoff comes, what's going on? And right now, again, this Brooklyn Nets team is starting to kind of have the respect of the Golden State Warriors. You pack a team with a bunch of stars. But again, I say James Harden isn't that of what, say, a Durant is. However, he's still on a team with a lot of talent. Now, I believe that the Brooklyn Nets will regress to the mean. I don't think their bench is as strong as advertised. But again, I'm curious to see. I mean, they could even see the Miami Heat in the first round. But as of right now, no, Harden, no. No, no, no. No, you see, it's not even... It's not even close as far as the MVP race goes. But again, you know, what's going on with the media every week? It seems like it's something new, a new angle, a new agenda to push or to bury players that they deem it's personal preference, players that they like, that they want to see succeed. But we all know what's really going on. It's going Lakers. It's going Sixers. LeBron or Embiid. This is Ross Status Sports. Who's your MVP pick and why? Leave your comments in the box.